First on Fox 6 News at 9, a Birmingham man and his microphone spark a national airport security scare. Tonight, he steps up to our mic to tell his side First of the story. On Fox tonight, he didn't realize just how much commotion one microphone could cause. But Brian Teasley is now rethinking what he takes on a plane next time. His mic briefly shut down the Dallas-Fort Worth airport on Thursday. And now, as Fox 6 News reporter Karen Church shows us, the Birmingham native says he and several federal agents are enjoying a sigh of relief. It wasn't funny at the time. Thousands of passengers at DFW were evacuated because something resembling a pipe bomb was found in Brian Teasley's luggage. Uh, this microphone here, uh, one of the gentlemen in the band actually made, it's, it's called a copper phone. But to TSA and FBI agents, it looked like a bomb. And in Dallas, they tore up his luggage to figure out what it was. Meanwhile, Brian was flying happily to Birmingham unaware of what was going on. It is a situation of just, you know, not expecting any, you know, not suspecting anything was happening. And really, it was a lot of stuff going down, like as I was on the plane. Brian and his band, Polyphonic Spree, had just finished taping Austin City Limits, and Brian brought the mic to do some recording at his home in Avondale. Hopefully, to my defense, you know, I know nothing about bomb making so to me you know there's going to be some minority report kind of you know machine where they're going to be like there's no plutonium in the flux capacitor so it's going to be you know it's fine it's a microphone and i wasn't even thinking about it at the time but once he landed and realized his luggage was not on the plane he headed for taco bell and that's when he got the bad news um, I mean, it was the FBI that actually first told me, it's like, you know you've made the national news and you've shut down the Dallas airport. And I was like, uh, no, I was just thinking about fire sauce versus mild sauce. Now he and the band are headed for David Letterman, but without the mic. I think I'm just going to ship it this time. In Birmingham, Karen Church, Fox 6 News.